Hello? Hello? I, I, I can't hear you. I, you know what? It's all right. I don't need to hear you. It's okay as long as you can hear me because this is a podcast. No, it's funny. I was talking with my mother and she was having technical issues probably because she was using a Google product or a Microsoft product and the, the microphone wasn't working on her end. And I've done this enough that I knew that it wasn't working. So I just kept talking and, and the phone didn't hang up or the, 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 the connection, the, the, the VoIP, whatever thing didn't hang up. And so, oh my goodness, I've got my phone on and I've got to make sure that I uh, turn off the noise so that uh, it doesn't disturb us and disrupt us uh, like it just did with me talking about it. Um, okay, so I'm talking with my mother and, and I can tell that her microphone isn't working and she just sits there and listens and, and I got all done talking, which, I mean, it wasn't long. I mean, 30 minutes, you know, and I, I get all done and I say, I can't hear you, but you can hear me. And that's the important thing. And, and, uh, you know, I, there's like this conspiracy among my friends. I really think there's like this, we know Jesse secret society where like they get together and they all say, okay, now when you see Jesse, you've got to talk as if he talks too much. Like it's like there's this conspiracy because no one would ever come to that conclusion on their own. I mean, a guy who's able to sit in front of the microphone and just jabber his jaw away couldn't possibly have the, the talking too much accusation or opinion among his friends. The only way they think that is if someone told them to. Just like uh, how oh, like uh, how a bunch of Hong Kongers. The only reason they wouldn't like China is if the Western newspapers told them not to. See, no one would dislike China for China killing millions of Uyghurs or kidnapping children, taking them from their parents and putting them in re-education camps. No one would hate China for those things. People would only hate China if the Western newspapers told them not to. So see, I just don't understand what it is with some people. How, How can you say that there's not a conspiracy when everybody has the same opinion. I mean, the only way people would agree is if someone told them what to think, right? Yeah. I, I you know, this is a thing like people actually think that way. Um, I, you know, uh, I, I don't know if you listen to Rush or not, but I haven't listened to him in, in, in a little while. I do listen to him, um, but I just been busy this week, but he often says, I know how these people think. And he talks about how liberals think. And he says, they wake up mad in the morning. They get up and they're mad and they're mad that you're not mad. So they get more mad and angry and hateful. And, and I, I, I just look, what was this? Um, this trickle to trip triple X T some guy, some rapper guy, some young rapper guy who started out with some really dark music videos, but then started to change who he was and he died 13 months ago. This, this van came out of nowhere and carjacked him and he died. Um, and, and, and some, someone on comedy central was making fun of his death. This is this white lady. This was a black rapper that died. Where's the racism complaint, you know? Um, comedy central, it's not funny anymore. It's, 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 it's ridicule humor. You know, the, the, the humor in, in the, in the comedy channels, uh, the, the, you know, the, 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 the late night show and that stuff, the, the humor used to be, uh, personality jokes, uh, which was Larry, the cable guy is just, he's such a, a ridiculously strange, funny person as a person. And that's why it's funny. Um, irony where, you know, you have a surprise ending, um, uh, the, the um, uh, maybe impersonations or talent. Um, maybe quick, quick mindedness or wit. Like, uh, you, you get, um, uh, you, you uh, what was it? Uh, whose line is it anyway? You know, like they've got to come up with stuff on the spot. So, you know, being able to come up with jokes on the spot or, or lightening the mood, uh, you know, the, the relaxing bull session, act like you're going to be all serious. And then it's just like just normal stuff that you're all excited about, which gives us a chance to relax. Um, like that's what humor used to be about, but anymore on comedy central, it's just, we're going to take someone we don't like. And then we're just going to make like, or even someone we don't know. Uh, and then we're just going to make like a rag doll that kind of looks like that person and throw stuff at the rag doll and call that funny. It's like, that's what it's become. And, 
the, 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 the type of the humor has changed. And the only people that are interested in that are the people who really have a hatred for the person uh, that the rag doll impersonates. And, and so it's comedy isn't normal comedy anymore. It's been, it's been totally changed. And, and I, I think it's been hijacked because, um, you know, mockery comedy is not, uh, it's just, it's not the funniest kind and it's not the most, it doesn't require the most talent. It doesn't, it doesn't, uh, it just, it's, it's, it's a sad thing. Um, but that's part of the liberal takeover and part of, part of, and I, and I, when I say liberal, I mean like the mob that is a bunch of liberals. I, I have liberal friends who are not moral liberals. They might go liberal on morals, but their, their cause is not a liberal morality that they want to just be immoral people who have no conscience and do whatever they want and that don't live with the health and social consequences of being criminal. They're not like that. There are people that are like that. They want to just do whatever they want and they don't want to have to pay consequences for it. And so they, they want to use science like, like, like we can just do whatever we want with anybody and not get an STD, you know, and, and then we're going to use science to make it so that we don't get the STDs. It's, it's like they want it. Their, their liberalism is a moral liberation from, from consequences of, of doing bad things. But then I have friends that, that are liberals and maybe they're liberal on the morals kind of, but they're more about public funding liberals, like teacher friends. And I actually, as a, I'm a conservative, but I like those guys because they have an interesting way of thinking. Um, and, and it really sharpens my mind and I very much enjoy them and I like them and I don't hate them and I don't think badly of them. Um, and, and I have a lot of them and I say them, we have categories. I'm conservative and they are liberal, but they're a different type of liberal. I'm not talking about the public funding liberals. I'm not talking about the roads and bridges liberals. I'm not talking about your teacher friends. I'm, I'm talking about there's this liberal, there's this liberal movement that, that, that we're going to make everyone talk, t talk and tweet about abortion. But if you say one thing against abortion, we'll close your Twitter account. Well, don't you want to, if you disagree with someone, don't you want to hear what they have to say so you can learn to debate against them? Don't you want to hear the wrong guy say the wrong thing so you can get good at shutting him up with your arguments? You know, but they don't want to do that. They just want to shut him down. And, and there's this mass movement about that uh, in that direction and that's this, it's a liberal ish swell and it's coming and it's growing. And in that thinking, in their thinking, Rush is right. They wake up in the morning and they're already angry and mad. And they're fuming mad that you're not as angry and fuming mad as they are. And it makes them more fuming mad and angry. And those people believe that if you believe an idea, it's only because someone told you to. They believe that, that you only believe an idea because your parents told you, or your teachers told you, or your pastors told you, and maybe those people are a teacher or a parent or a pastor, or who knows, you know, whatever, they've got a boss. And so they believe that people only believe things because someone told them, not because people can think on their own, not because people can see the evidence or the writing on the wall. People like apple pie because someone said that it's delicious, not because it actually tastes delicious. People uh, like a movie because the reviews said that it's good, not because they actually like the movie or it was a good movie. People vote for a politician because the newspaper told them to vote for the politician, not because they like what the politician says or does. And they really believe this. And so they go about their lives with that belief. They try to censor other people from talking because they believe other people talking will force you to agree with them. They, they try to say certain things and describe things with no, no evidence. They'll even lie about someone else because they believe that if they tell you what to think, you'll magically have to agree with them because you're listening to them. They don't want the other person to talk because then you'll magically have to listen to that other person. They really believe this and the Chinese communists are among them. And we're going to get into that in the Taiwan special this week.